Hello junior high cellists, fourth grade cellists. Um, we're going to start working through book two while we remain on extended um, pause order here. Uh, book two is your uh, purple book. Okay, it has purple at the top margin. Um, it should say cello where mine says violin. I'm using my son's old violin copy. That's what I have at home. Uh, but don't worry, I'm playing a cello, so it'll all work out fine. All right, so we're going to start on page two and three, which is review of um, D major key signature, uh, four, four, and three, four times. So let's start out with number two, which is our D major scale. One, two, three, four. <laughs> the D major arpeggio, and arpeggio skips notes, whereas a scale plays notes in order. So our D major arpeggio uses Ds, F sharps, and As, any ones that you may have handy. Okay, so here we go, D major arpeggio, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, let's try that one more time. That one's a little bit tricky. Jumping around, going up, and then coming back down a step, and then jumping up again by a third, and then back down a step. So you're basically following the pattern of up a third, down a step, up a third, down a step. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Number five, Theme from London Symphony by Franz Josef Haydn is the composer. Uh, when you're done practicing this, I would encourage you to log on to YouTube and look up a recording of the theme from the London Symphony. See if you can hear this melody that you're about to play being played by the orchestra, probably being played by the violins first. Let's be honest. Okay, and um, here we go. Theme from London Symphony, number five on page two. Let's do it one more time, excuse me. Here we go, one, two, three, four.
page three. So on page three, number six, we have D major in threes, which is using our three, four time signature, so three beats per measure. Um, otherwise, just a D major scale ascending. So here we go, number six. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, that really should have been very simple for all of you. <clears throat> so dynamic contrast, we'll move on to number seven. So we're adding in dynamics now, forte, loud, and then a day crescendo down to piano, getting quieter, and then crescendo or raise in volume back up to forte. Okay, so remember what things make our instrument forte. Um, more bow weight, pushing down on the bow more, a slower bow speed, and being closer to our bridge or further away from us. And all the opposites of those hold true for piano. Uh, faster speed, lighter weight, and closer to the bridge. Okay, here we go. Dynamic contrast. So starting forte, heavy bow weight, slow speed, close to the closer to the bridge. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. So let the bow really sink in to the string. Here we go. One, two, forte. And travel up towards the fingerboard. Back down towards the bridge. Increase the weight. Very nice. Okay, number eight. Morning from the Pier Gint, which is a whole suite of pieces. Suite is a very fancy word for meaning a group of pieces that are somehow related. Okay, and Purgant is a, is a character that uh, Edvard Grieg probably read about, knew about being a boy growing up. And um, so this is the song Morning, the beginning of the story from the Purgant Suite. Again, go listen to the Purgant Suite Morning on YouTube. Listen to how this piece sounds. Um, when it's played by a whole orchestra. All right, so we're starting piano. We have one crescendo up to forte and then back down to piano. So overall, this is a quiet piece. Here we go. Just a nice quiet morning. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, and then Bach roll, another theme from a piece by Jacques Offenbach. Excuse me again, we are reviewing slurs in this, and we're reviewing first and second ending. So remember with the first and second ending, we play the first ending only the first time we play the song, then we repeat back, in this case, back to the beginning of the song, then we will skip over the first ending the second time and play the second ending. Okay, so here we go, Bach roll, number nine on page three. One, two, three. <laughs> Lift, 
set. Okay, so enjoy practicing. Remember, work on your schoolwork. Stay inside as much as you can. Practice safe social, social distancing. Wash your hands. Um, remember, we live in Buffalo where we have had our fair share of strange weather and strange events. And so we'll get through this one day at a time. Listen to your parents. Do your schoolwork. Practice your cello. Let's face it, you can't touch your face when you're practicing your cello. Have fun. Comment below. Let me know what is going well, what isn't working, what you'd like to see more of. Um, go on Essential Elements Interactive online. The code, the student code is in the front of your book. The website address is on the back cover of your book. If you need the school code again, just have your parents email me or contact me on Class Dojo. I'll be happy to send that out again. Um, log your practice minutes and um, just take it one day at a time, friends. Okay? Hope to see you soon. Take care. Come back next week and we'll move on to the next two pages. Okay? Bye-bye.